Welcome back. In this video, I want to go over a short naked put. So we want to do a short naked put when our market assumption is bullish. So we want the underlying stock future ETF to go up. We want applied volatility to be high because we're selling, being a net seller of options here. Optimal time frame, 30 to 60 days, looking for a profit target of between 25 to 50% of max profit. Downside risk is the stock could go to zero. So you're, you know, that, that's the that's the ultimate risk. Uh, obviously it doesn't happen very often, but that's you've got to look at it from an ultimate risk standpoint. And the upside risk, obviously none, because if we uh, if the stock goes up, we will be making money. The probability of profit will be at 70 plus percent uh, when we initiate the trade. So the trade setup is we're simply going to sell one out of the money put and we're going to do that right around the 30 delta is, is where we like to do that. Time decay or theta positively impacts this position. So just like an iron condor or a strangle, you can think of the, you know, the uh, short naked put is just the put side of a strangle. So let's go to the platform and take a look at an example. What we're looking at here is XRT. This is the uh, retail ETF. So you can see we've got an IV percentile of 52. So it's, uh, it's above 50. So we could consider that high implied volatility. One of the few high implied volatility vehicles uh, that we have to have to uh, choose from right now. But uh, the other thing that I, I like about this as far as putting on a selling a short naked put is Look at this, look at this massive down move this has had, okay? And and, um, and so, you know, I don't, I don't like to get bullish on things when they're already, you know, hitting new all-time highs. I like to get bullish on things when they've had uh, somewhat of a down move. Now, it could be just a short-term down move like this, or it could be a significant down move like we've seen here. But either way, we've got high IV. Uh, the probabilities are gonna play out over time. So let's go to the trade tab <clears throat> and put this on. So we're simply going to go to the put side and we're gonna look for the 30 delta put. Now, as you can see with XRT, we've got a 26 delta and we've got a 36. So which one do I choose? I always like to default to the higher delta. It's gonna give you more premium. You've got 82 cents versus 54. Um, the, the difference is you won't have quite as high of a probability of success. So if you're looking for a little bit more high probability, you could go for the 26 delta. If you're looking for more premium to collect, you can go for the 36. It's really just a preference. It, you're kind of splitting hairs, although that is a bit of a variance between these two strikes as far as the, uh, as far as the 26 all the way to uh, 36 delta, so a difference of 10. But, uh, but a lot of times you're just splitting hair, hairs as, as far as which one you choose. Let's go ahead and choose the 40. So we simply right click, sell, single, and that's gonna populate right here. So then we can take this over to the analyze tab. And I've already got one in there, so let's delete that one. So what we've got here, if we set our slice to the break even point, Make sure the date is set to the expiration date, which in this case is 5-2017. And so what you'll see here is we've got a probability of just over 70% that this trade will, will work out in our favor. Now remember, when we manage these trades, uh, when, we, when we exit the trades for a percentage of max profit, our, percent, our winning percentage is gonna be much higher than this. Uh, it's gonna be closer to the 80, 85, maybe a little bit higher as far as our winning percentage. But, uh, but that's just kind of our initial probability of profit if we held it all the way to expiration. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and get this filled, just do one contract for this example. Uh, oh, the one other thing I wanted to, to show you was, uh, if you put the hash mark right on where price is, you can see there's a positive theta component. So remember, this has a positive uh, theta component to it and so that allows us to you know if price stayed right here between now and expiration we're going to make money on this trade and that's we always want to we always want to have that component when we're when we're selling options if possible 
Uh, so that so we've got a 70 set 70 percent probability of profit. Uh, we do have a you know it's kind of neutral to bullish. But we call this a bullish strategy because ultimately we you know will profit if it goes up quicker. And so let's go ahead and place the trade. So simply right click, confirm and send, send, and we got filled right at 82 cents. So I ended the video after we entered the XRT trade, but I thought I'd come back just a few days later. We entered that trade on March 24th. Today is six days later, March 30th. Uh, price has moved up uh, nicely for us. Got in at about, when price was about $41, it's moved up to a little over, a little over 42. So just a quick little move there. So I want to show you, uh, we, we are now at, uh, you know, in the profit of a little over $45, max profit is 82. So that's over 50% of max profit. And what caused that obviously was the move up, but also look at what's happened to implied volatility since we put that on. It's just, it's just gotten crushed. And so the move up and the move down in implied volatility both helped our position. And so this is a quick profit that we took in just six days. You know, for this example, we only did one contract, so we're making, you know, a profit of 45, 46 bucks. But you want to look at it on a percentage basis, because if you have a small account, you know, this is going to be a bigger percentage of your account. Uh, if you have a larger account, obviously we would you would do more contracts than this. Uh, but this is this is perfect. I mean, you know, taking it off a quick over 50% of max profit in six days. Uh, take those all day long. So simply just right click, create closing order, buy, trading at 35 cents, confirm and send, and we're out of the trade. So I'm not going to show uh, the closing trades in all these, but I, I wanted to show that because it's just a perfect example of showing how quickly some of these can move in your favor with price and implied volatility. Hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.